Somebody walk on me, the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Yo, 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 what's going on Xbox and YouTube? Now, this is my fireworks stash for 2016, for the 4th of July. Now, I know in the beginning of my video, you guys seen that I went to a store called Motor City Fireworks here in Michigan, and they have some of the best deals ever. Let me just start by saying that. But before I ever went to that store, I actually went to a different store called Pro Fireworks which is also here in Michigan, and it might be in a few other states. I'm not too sure on that. But I initially started my stash at that store, and that is where I got these big pro shells. Now, based off of all the pyros on YouTube, I have seen and heard and watched many, many good videos about the pro shell fireworks. So I'm not really going to do much unboxing of those. If you guys would like to read all of the effects, there they are. But let me just tell you that these are one of the best shells on the market for the price. Now I paid $50 a case for these, so that's not too bad. But on to the ones that everybody really wants to see. The Red Apple G-Force 5 inch XL canister shells. Now these are brand new for 2016 and make sure you guys stay tuned because right after this video I will be doing a full unboxing of the G-Force shells but let's check out some of the effects here. These are all brand new for 2016 as far as I am aware. So we have 24 supercharged effects. We have a big silver, and if you guys would love to read those, you can go along and read those. But all of these effects are completely amazing based off of the demo videos that I have seen of these shells. So the G-Force canister shells by Red Apple sold at Motor City Fireworks or Red Apple Fireworks, I would definitely get G-Force shells over the pro shells. The G4 shells were only $60 for 24 of the 5 inch and the Pro shells were $50 for 24 and obviously as you guys know the 5 inch shells are much bigger. Now we also have some cannon fuse here just real quick I picked up at a tent just in case I feel like making a custom 9 on a board or something along those lines. So we got ourselves some fuse. So we have all of these pro shells and we have the G-Force shells. Now we can move on to the crushing it super shells. Now this was something that I bought kind of on an impulse because I had not seen five inch shells at that point in time. But these G-Force, or I'm sorry, these black diamond crushing it super shells are actually really awesome based off of the videos I've seen of those as well. But the price tag on them is a little bit high. They want $119 for 24 of those. So if you compare the Black Diamond, Diamond Crushing It Super Shells to the G-Force Shells, which are $60 for 24 and a much better value, and they have way cooler effects in them, well, it doesn't make much sense to buy a case of the Crushing It. So I only got six of the Crushing It Super Shells just to see how they performed based and next to the G-Force shells. So I did not take a G-Force shell um, mortar out, but it is basically the same as this Phantom brand. I have looked at them and if you guys wait for my unboxing, you will see the actual mortar that comes along with the canisters. But overall, if you stack up each one of these shells next to each other, you can clearly see who is the winner. 
and that is why we call the G4 shells XL because they are a true five inch. These are a little bit smaller than five inch, so it's not a true five inch. And then these are the regular shells that everybody is used to and I just call them the 60 gram cans, but I'm sure that's not the uh, scientific name for those. But overall, I would say these G4 shells are going to be amazing, but I can tell you that this particular crush in it shell weighs more than this golden willow to red, which is kind of odd in my opinion, but depending upon the effects that you get within each shell, I would imagine that they weigh a little more or a little less, but that really doesn't matter to me very much. Now, just for fun, I got myself some Texas Pop Rockets because they are one of my personal favorites within the uh, firework area as far as rockets. And when we went to Red Apple or Motor City Fireworks, we also got the Panda Box. And the only reason I bought the Panda Box is because of the awesome reviews and the awesome video done by the guys over at Red Apple and Motor City Fireworks on YouTube. If you guys would love to check that out, unboxing out, I will throw it in the description, but I will also be unboxing this a little bit later. I'm just going to pull everything out so you guys can see exactly what you get within the Panda or Tiger box. Now, the Panda and the Tiger boxes are probably the best value around as far as a pack goes or whatever, an assortment goes. Red Apple Fireworks and Motor City Fireworks have the best assortments. So let's just give a real quick look here. We have some artillery shells by Dragon. So we have two cases of those. Now I do realize this is the 25 or 2015 version of the Panda Box, but nonetheless, I'm still very happy with what I got. We have two cases of artillery shells by Dragon. And as you guys can see right here in the middle, we actually have a single shot ball shell, which is supposed to be comparable to a very high quality ball shell. Now, just a little fun fact for you guys. I checked on phantom.com just to see what this particular cake right here goes for. Now, the cake that you are looking at right there is called 96 shots of color of pearl. Now, if you wanna get a 96 shot color of pearl from Phantom, this will cost you $10, which is absolutely ridiculous to me because even at this pro fireworks store down the street, I can get 96 shot color of pearl for 60 cents. So for Phantom to sell those for $10 is absolutely ridiculous. Same with the happy cake right here. Now this is a happy cake. If you don't know what a happy cake is, well, I'm sorry, but a happy cake is just a very simple cake. And at Phantom, they want I believe $15 for a happy cake. And you can get these at Motor City for five to $7 all day without even a problem. Same with most of the items within this box. They are the best and the highest quality compared to other brands. Now, if you guys could guess what I paid for this, that would be amazing, but I'm just going to tell you guys and it will be quite surprising to some of you guys that do not live in the state or do not have a Motor City or Red Apple Fireworks store near you. This was only $60. So everything you see in this case was only $60 altogether. So altogether, I spent $120 roughly at Red Apple and Motor City Fireworks. I got the Panda Box and I got the G-Force shells. So realistically for $120, you could have a super badass 4th of July. And you really don't even have to spend that much compared to most of these firework tents or other firework stores. But now on to the next thing. Now this thing, I basically bought it because um, Pyro Nation actually made a video about this. And I just really loved the showers of sparks that this cake emits. Now this is, as you guys can see, it emits showers and shoots flaming balls. So it's a crackle and a shower fountain. It's kind of a hybrid in my opinion. And it is by Winda, one of, one of the better brands out there. Now I only paid, I think $10 for this cake. So I'm quite happy with that. And I just really, really love Motor City Fireworks. And I will be going there for the rest of my life for fireworks as long as they are around. But with that being said, guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed my fireworks stash for 
2016. Now I will be making videos on the 4th of July of a lot of this stuff, so if you would like to see how a lot of this stuff shoots off, just wait till after the 4th and you will see a lot of what you see on this table being fired. So that is a really awesome thing. And like I said, guys, I will probably be doing an unboxing of the G-Force canister shells right after this. So if you would love to see more about the G-Force shells and what the tubes look like and what's inside the box, stay tuned for that video. But with that being said, guys, if I've opened your perspective on pricing and how badass fireworks are and canister shells are, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.